Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you on the right side is the OEM Beta 4T skid plate. So you've got some uh, air holes in the front and the sides and the back. It's three bolts that hold this, two on the front and one on the rear. And then to the left we have our Enduro Engineering uh, skid plate. Weighs about five, maybe six pounds. Lots more uh, breathing here. Um, looks like it uses the OEM holes for mounting, so right after the frame. And then if you want for an extra, I think it's like $50, here's the hardware for it. For an extra $50, you can buy here the, um, the linkage guard, which mounts down here like this. So you've got uh, all encompassing here, and then you've got your hardware for that. So let's do the skid plate first, then we'll throw on the linkage guard, and it'll just be, uh, be one video. Footprint looks pretty much the same, though, as the OEM skid plate. This one just looks a little bit hardier. So first thing we did was we actually just removed the uh, OEM clips from the frame here. We're going to be using uh, ones from Enduro Engineering. These are six millimeter clip nuts. So uh, they go right onto the mounting tabs just like this. And that's uh, step one. I'm going to get this with two hands, but basically slide them right on like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these with the uh, bolts that came with the um, the uh, OEM skid plate. Put it right back in the OEM skid plate so I don't lose them. So the next part's gonna be a little bit tricky. Yeah, I know, socks. So uh, this is the rear of the plate and you've got this little hook here. So this kind of goes right there um, so you can hook it in. But you can't, um, you can't tighten it down, it appears from the instructions. So you're gonna loosely connect the clamp onto the back of the skid plate. Then you're gonna situate the skid plate in and then you're gonna finally tighten it down. Um, and it says, it mentions nothing about thread locker, by the way. So, um, I guess we're just going to start this process. I actually don't know what the tape is for. Um, it comes with this nice tape here. I think it's just to keep the, uh, the plate from scratching, which I'll throw that on in a second. But as you can see here, we're going to take this put that over, then we're going to flip it around, let's see if we can get this here for you guys, and then we're going to uh, hand screw in these bolts, and again, no thread locker, at least according to the instructions, these things come loose, I'll check them after a few hundred miles. And if they come loose, then we'll uh, take care of it. Uh, these are going to be five millimeter Allens, it looks like. Let's make sure of that. I don't want to steer you the wrong way. Yep. Five millimeter Allens. And uh, again, we're just going to get these where they're still pretty much loose to get it in there. I guess I'm going to go through here now and attach some of this... Um, soft adhesive tape they gave us. Ah, be sure the frame is free of any dirt. There we go. Uh, grease or oil, apply soft adhesive strips on the frame where it will come in contact with the skid plate. Okay, we can do that right now. We have our five millimeter for the back and we have our eight for the front. I'm gonna lay on my back here. Hopefully this isn't completely terrible. Maybe I won't need to. Move this over here. There we go. Now they had indicated on um, the instructions to tighten this down evenly. So we're going to do a little bit on the rear. Now we'll move here to the front and do a little bit here on the front as well. Should probably move over so you guys can see fine though. Yeah, you don't really want to go crazy with that tightening down in the rear because you'll have problems finding your thread on the front. Aha. Sweet, we have threads. Put on this 
side. There we go. I had to lift it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. All right, let's take a step back here and look at this thing from far. Then we'll be back there. And back to there. To the other side. Here's the other side. 